Hello with Next Pit. We are here at InterSolar EEX in Munich and we have the opportunity to talk to Mark Yu. Um, Mark Yu is the Chief Marketing Officer at Bluetti and we're excited to have the opportunity and thank you very much for having us. Uh, Thanks for having me. Uh -huh. Well, all our pleasure. So uh, one question, the first question to start off is um, Bluetti has announced a couple of new products from uh, small ones to very large ones. Could you uh, give us a quick overview over the different series that you currently have from the EB, EP and AC series? Uh, first of all, EB stands for economical battery. So it's a uh, much more affordable version of our product lines. Uh, the standard, uh, the standout products are EB55, EB70. That's uh, very familiar with our users. And uh, as for the AC series is uh, a little bit premium product line uh, with uh, uh, high-tech uh, uh, high models like AC300 and AC500. And uh, uh, as for the last EP series, stands for Essential Power. And uh, that's the uh, grid tie or off-the-grid home power backup battery that we push to the market. Okay, great. So um, today we're seeing, or here at the show, we're seeing the AC60 that's yeah. just been announced for the European market. Yeah. What does it? What is special about this power station? Uh, the most identical feature about this power station is, is uh, the IP65 water resistance feature, and it's weatherproof. So you can, when you go fishing, you go hunting or camping, you don't have to worry about the wet the moisture of the environment and uh, when it gets dirty you just have to put a water hose on it and flush everything off it it's pretty safe to do that so uh, and uh, the structure for the protection also brings up to six years of warranty so it's now the uh, longest warranty we've now offering for the portal power station line oh wow, that's pretty impressive yeah. And it also comes with uh, uh, an add-on. How, how can you tell us something more about this? Uh, yeah, this uh, portable power station uh, features a very small form factor. But for more capacity, we are offering two up to two expansion batteries for this very unit. And each features an 800 of battery capacity. So with two of these batteries, you can get the, uh, the same capacity as the uh, AC200 Max. It's up to 2,000 watt hours. Well, that's pretty nice. Um, there are some ways, of course, you, have, uh, you can charge it through AC. You can also charge it with your solar panels through DC. Yeah. And then you can connect different um, household appliances or your smartphone um, to the different ports that you have on the power station. Sure. Do you have any plans to also feed energy from it into the grid? Uh, for this very unit, it doesn't support uh, grid tie or feed energy to the grid. But we are working on another project called the Balcony Solar Solution. And that, that uh, product comes with a microinverter. So when you combine the microinverter with this thing or any uh, portable power station we, ha we are offering now, you can uh, feed the power from your battery to the grid and when your power for example you are Generating too much energy and you can't use them You can sell it from the panels directly or you can drain the battery To feed your electric grid to save your electricity bills Wow, this is this is super interesting news. Um, yeah. So how will it how will it work? Will it use the existing um, uh, sure. AC? It will, com or it, it will be compatible with all the existing solar generator or so-called portable power stations we are offering on the market now. Wow, that's that's really exciting. Yeah, it's just a little box. A little box. Uh, the one side connected to the roof solar or balcony solar, and the other side connected to the battery, so it can uh, generate power from the solar solar panels or you, it can drain power from your battery into the grid. Oh, that's that's great and really exciting. Yeah. So um, is the new app that you just launched a couple of weeks ago, is that also a step into, the, into a direction to support um, uh, well, or to integrate everything into the smart home? 
Uh, the new app just fixed the little box and uh, add on a few uh, functions like the uh, online shopping and uh, the community and the service in entry. Uh, it's not the upgraded to a grid type system controllable yet. Okay, so we will see a, a new app then. That yeah, we all have another app upgrade in uh, late in early Q3 or er, uh, late Q2. Okay, great. Um, and so what, what are your plans for supporting uh, Smart Home with the Blue Eti app and the devices? Uh, for example, just like we mentioned uh, earlier, we have the uh, balcony solar project on the way. And uh, we also have things like uh, smart plugs, uh, smart monitor to have everything that's going on with our home circuit or grid with the uh, monitoring system. And we can see everything that's happening on the smartphone app. And uh, we can have like uh, data summarize, uh, anal anal analytics, and even the forecast. For example, when you have a storm or a tornado around your area, you, your phone will receive a new text about the upcoming disaster. So your system will start saving energy and storing electricity to prepare for the upcoming event. Wow, this is really smart. Yeah, that's the uh, internal plan. Okay, great. So when can we expect some news around this? Uh, we should have the balcony solar system available by the fourth quarter. So uh, news should come out before November. Yeah, we'll start releasing some of the information from November. Okay, fantastic. So uh, let's move on to a different product category, the um, EP series. Yeah. Uh, what is new with the EP760 and how does it fit into the lineup with the EP600 and the EP900? Um, EP900 is, uh, let's, let me put it this way. The EP600 is a three-phase machine, so it works only with most of the families from Germany. And uh, as for the EP670, uh, the single-phase machine will be more compatible with uh, countries outside Germany. Uh, most of the European countries and Australian and even UK can have this product as their own home backup solution. And for EP900, it's just a, an, another version for the United States or Canada market. They are basically the same structure, just a, a few different in specs for different countries. Okay, so it's, I assume it's very complicated to deal with the different regulations, the different power systems that you have all around the world. So what is the, how do you deal with this big challenge? Uh, it's not really a big challenge when we're developing the products, but it can be uh, pretty complicated for users to get permissions from their government or a grid company to install the uh, grid tie system into their home. So we've developed another system called the EP800. It looks identical to this thing and uh, they have they share the exact same design, but that system doesn't need to be grid tied. So you can use it off the grid and without any permission from the grid company or your government. And uh, you can use it just the only difference is that you can sell the electricity back to the grid, but as the incentive shrinks, there's much there's no not much more we can earn by selling electricity to the grid. So we can just store the energy, use it when we need it, and uh, even when the electricity bill uh, electricity is cheap at night, you can store them at night and use them when you need them uh, in during daylight. So there's a uh, peak load shifting. Yeah, yeah. so there's multiple ways to save money than just the selling power to the grid. And uh, for uh, products like the off-grid system, uh, for example, the EP800, 
it can be pretty easier to install by just any electrician or a uh, skillful adult. Yeah, so it doesn't require professional installation. And that's the uh, major feature about the upcoming EP800. That's really nice. And I, I can tell from experience that it's very, very difficult to even find an electrician, a skilled yeah. electrician that has the capacity yeah. to install a product. And uh, very expensive too. Yeah. yeah, they can charge a pretty much uh, half of the machine's worth to install for your home. And you have to get permissions from the government. And sometimes the permission also costs a dime. So uh, for many customers, they are not very uh, passionate about install a very complicated system in their home. So I think EP800 may be another huge chance for us to expand into the uh, home backup market. Great. I want to expand on something that you uh, mentioned before, that you can uh, store cheap energy at night sure. and then you can use the energy during the day when it's more expensive. Yeah. Uh, now there is a trend uh, in various markets to dynamic energy tariffs so that you have that different energy prices every hour and every day. Um, yes. Are there some plans to, uh, from Bluetti to react to this as well? Uh, we've already encouraging customers to do this with the current production line, like the uh, AC200 and the AC300. They are off-grid products, but they can also store energy when it's cheap and uh, use it when the energy price goes up. So uh, it's a pretty normal take uh, for most of our customers. They're already doing it. All right, great. Uh, so what is the vision for Bluetti for the next three years and how, how do you see yourself in the, in the market? Uh, you know, we've been making home backup batteries since 2013, 10 years ago. And the reason why we put out portable power stations is because we want to uh, get in touch with more customers so they can know the name we are using as, uh, as, we can, as we're doing now. Uh, so many more customers can know Bluetti and by having more customers we are able to get more people to know about our expensive, uh, rather expensive production line, the EP series. So uh, mm, the ultimate target of our company is to have the home backup solution for every family. Uh, to achieve that, we all have to do better in both the production, portable power station production line and, and the home backup production line. So uh, it's uh, more like a combination. Yeah. And uh, our role in the company, we'd like to think ourselves as a uh, dedicated energy solution company rather than uh, we are not intent to bring uh, stuff like uh, robot, robot law mover and uh, uh, things that are not very related to the energy solution. Uh, we, are, we are willing to focus on the uh, energy solution market and uh, do our best in it. Okay, great. So what do you think is uh, the most important change that we will see in the future in the energy market? I think it will be the cost of lithium batteries. The cost is uh, dropping rapidly. Uh, so this would cause the uh, price of the final product goes down. And uh, we can see that many companies are dropping the pricing of their production line. So this may cause a very serious stocking problem for us all. And that would be the major problem for the 2023. Uh, and that's the in inevitable problem that we have to face. So we have to play smart. Uh, we can't drop the price very frequently, but we also have to bring more benefit for our customers to let them have a better experience with our products. Yeah. So okay. we have to uh, improve the service quality 
and uh, improve it in a big way. Yeah, we are not doing, to be honest, we're not doing a very good job in regard of service. So that's the main issue we have to solve this year. Yeah. Uh, so do you uh, can you announce something uh, what will change in terms of service uh, this year? Uh, I can't really announce any this decision for now, but uh, we are ready to make some big changes. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a lot of exciting announcements with the EP 760, uh, with the AC 60, the expandable storage, also the balcony solar system uh, is very exciting. So thank you very much for giving us an insight into the future of the energy market, into the future. Uh, of Bluetti and it was, it was great to talk to us. Do you have one final message to our uh, audience? Uh, we look, we are very optimistic about a renewable future with a clean energy solution and I hope pe uh, everybody can join us and be a part of this great picture of the future. Ah. Wow, that sounds great. That's a perfect Thank sentence. You. I can't add anything better to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. Uh, it was it was a pleasure and an honor to be here with you today. Thank you.